Hello, everyone. I'm Joseph Jeraputo, President and Editorial Director of Global Finance. I want to welcome you to our 23rd Best Banks Awards Ceremony. We're coming to you virtually this morning from Washington's National Press Club, the site of many of our past award events. This morning, we will present awards to central bankers, followed by Best Banks by country, region, and globally. Each central banker has dealt a different hand. Global Finance has been evaluating how well they play these hands since 1994 with our central banker report cards. We grade central bankers of key countries, territories, and the European Central Bank on an A to F scale, with A for outstanding performance down to F for outright failure. Our ratings are based on inflation or deflation control, economic growth, currency stability, and interest rate management, among other criteria. The skills of central bankers in supervising financial institutions are also considered. This year's bankers' handling of economic consequences of the COVID pandemic was given special attention. We considered central bankers from more than 100 countries, territories, and the European Union. A small group of them received grades in the A category. I will now turn over the program to my London colleague, Dimitri Hyatt, who will announce 2021's A-grade Central Bankers. Thank you, Joseph. The 2021 A-grade Central Bank Governors are Governor Dimitar Radev from the Bulgarian National Bank. Governor Roberto Campos Neto from the Central Bank of Brazil. Governor Tim Macklem from the Bank of Canada. Governor Maria Marcel Culel from the Central Bank of Chile. Governor Yi Gang from the People's Bank of China. Governor Leonardo Villa Gomez from Banco de la República. Governor Yuri Rusnok from the Czech National Bank. Governor Tarek Amer from the Central Bank of Egypt. Christine Lagarde from the European Central Bank. Governor Koba Gvanadze from the National Bank of Georgia. Dear colleagues, first of all, let me thank you for the honor to be once again selected in the elite group of central bankers who have earned high grades in the Global Finance Central Banker Report Card. It truly is a privilege to be listed among such esteemed central bankers. The award is even more important today as the world is going through unprecedented crisis and we all are in a very peculiar environment. Pandemic put tourism-dependent Georgia's economy through turbulence that had to be balanced with appropriate and timely macroeconomic policies. With the global concern of surging inflation and with the uptick in domestic demand in Georgia, the National Bank of Georgia had to find the golden balance in the trade-off between output and inflation and to remain focused on its main mandate of price stability that will pay off in the long run. We tighten monetary policy to make sure that high inflation expectations do not become entrenched and surge in inflation is only transitory. Such decisions are unpopular but necessary. Extraordinary times require extraordinary measures and in times like this we, the central bankers, have no room or indeed time for hesitation. I would like to thank you once again for this award and wish you good health low inflation, financial stability, and high economic growth. What a great wish list for the central bankers. Governor Asger Jonsson from the Central Bank of Iceland. Governor Amir Yaron from the Bank of Israel. Governor Mohammed Yusuf al Hashel from Central Bank of Kuwait. Governor Noor Shamsias Maud Yunus from Bank Nagara Malaysia. Governor Alejandro Diaz de Leon from the Bank of Mexico. Governor Abdel Latif Dujuari from Bank Al Maghrib. Bonjour. Je voudrais d'abord remercier Global Finance pour cette distinction. D'autant plus qu'elle intervient après une année inédite qui nous a tous interpellés avec en particulier 
un niveau exceptionnellement élevé d'incertitude. Je pense d'ailleurs que le mérite de cette initiative de Global Finance est de mettre en lumière les politiques et les choix qui peuvent réussir et de favoriser le partage d'expériences. Les performances enregistrées par mon pays sont le fruit d'une mobilisation à tous les niveaux et d'une coordination étroite entre les différents acteurs, notamment les autorités budgétaires et monétaires. Elles ont été possibles également grâce à l'appui des institutions internationales que je tiens à remercier ici. Au niveau de la Banque centrale, c'est la mobilisation sans précédent de son conseil et de tous ses agents qui a permis un suivi étroit de la situation et la prise éclairée de décision. Cette reconnaissance est donc celle d'un travail collectif de toute une équipe dévouée que je voudrais vivement remercier à cette occasion. Governor Adrian Orr from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Governor Jose Cantero Siendra from the Central Bank of Paraguay. Governor Abdullah bin Saud Al Thani from the Qatar Central Bank. Governor Elvira Nabuliana from the Bank of Russia. It's truly an honor for us to be joining the ranks of central banks to have received an A grade from global finance. 2020 was one of the most difficult years throughout my tenure as the governor of the Bank of Russia. The pandemic caused severe humanitarian and economic losses, while families and enterprises had to deal with the lockdowns introduced to curb the spread of the disease. The central bank's policy was aimed at supporting Russia's economic performance in this difficult period. And we thank you for recognizing these efforts. This unprecedented situation required a decisive and rapid response. But the response also had to be proportioned and targeted. This was especially important in Russia, where we have had to deal with a recession and financial stability risks at the same time. The pandemic goes on, but the economic situation has been improving at an impressive pace. The policy response has contributed to this fast recovery, but an even bigger factor has been the hard-won macroeconomic stability, which we had established over previous years. We shouldn't underestimate current challenges, of course. To deal with the increased inflation, we had to start policy normalization quite early. But our institution's main promise to Russians is to keep inflation low and stable. And we are working hard to fulfill that promise. Governor Lesetia Kanyaho from South African Reserve Bank. Governor Yang Chinlong from the Central Bank of Republic of China, Taiwan. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm deeply honored that Global Finance considered the work of Taiwan's Central Bank over the past year worthy of your accolade. I would like to use this opportunity to express my appreciation to Global Finance. Thank you for the recognition and I wish the award ceremony every success. 